back is in here and his blood is in here today. And yes, we've been cut there again. Yeah, we've had the sparkle of the cafe too. Today, we're at Penny's Cafe, situated between Watford and Wolverhampton. Pop inside, two hours on the menu. Right then we're back we've got our breakfast we've been to penny's cafe and uh well, first of all i want to say is what lovely friendly staff they have in there very polite um i know it might not people might not say yeah andy but it's for custom i always say regardless of whether whether they want your custom or not is it goes a, a long way with me just doesn't hurt to to be that little bit of politeness does it we're all always so I'll just put that out there. Um, a couple of things I'll say about Penny's Cafe. They have won an award in 2014 runner-up um, for regional cafe in 2014 and 2015. And 2016 and 2017, they actually won the award for best regional cafe, like I say. So uh, that seems promising. Um, they do accept your card. And as regards to parking, there is um, there's a couple of disabled spots and there's about, I would say about 15, 15 to 20 parking spaces, roughly, along here. So, yeah. Right then, before we get the food out, I'll just go through an outline of the menu. They haven't got one in there, so I'll just do my usual outline. They do all the usual breakfast, various sandwiches. They do cold sandwiches as well, like cheese and onion, um, tuna and mayonnaise. They do baked potatoes. They also do um, various drinks, uh, burgers as well. So, yeah, so they do do, um, like, dinner time meals as well, like sausage burgers or jack potatoes. Okay then, if you bear with me one moment, I'll get the food out and I'll show you what I've got. But then we've gone for an all day breakfast. Um, sorry, a full English breakfast. No, an all day breakfast. We've had um, two bacon, two sausage. It comes with two black pudding, beans, tomatoes and uh, to two toasts. And you get the option of tea or coffee which is there, a total price of £7, which is not bad. Right then, so without further ado, let's try the food and see what we think. Right now, viewers, I have got a bit of a problem. I've just this second dropped my knife down the side of the chair, and it's in such an awkward place, I'm going to have to... Um, See if I can bury it out. It's actually stuck in a very awkward place. So I have got my knife and fork, but obviously my knife's down the side of the chair. So I'm going to have to use their wooden one for today until I can get mine out. Can't believe that. Don't look at all me sometimes. I can see that being a right game to get because it's gone inside the lining of the chair. Right, let's try the sausage first. Sausage is very nice. Well cooked. As you can see. Uh, sausage should be, in my opinion. Right, let's try black pudding. Now, obviously, people will be saying, Andy, where's the egg? And I'll say it again, like I've said numerous times, I don't eat egg. So they asked what would I like in replacement. And I was going to ask for mushrooms actually, but I just says give me some extra black pudding instead. So that's what I've had. Mm. 
black pudding is very nice. Yep. Okay. This knife's definitely, uh, it'll have to do. Right, let's try the uh, bacon. Okay. This is decent. Yeah. Decent this. I can see why it's won awards this breakfast. It's very nice. Let's try the toast. Right then, so what do we think? Well, first of all, we've been to Penny's Cafe, situated on the Penn Road between the towns of Womburn and Wolverhampton. And we've had um, a full English breakfast, a total price of £7, which is not bad. And what do I think? Well, first of all, the sausage is very, very nice, very well cooked, very dark. Um, very enjoyable, definitely eat it. Bacon's very nice, um, got a nice crispy taste to it, um, so we'll be definitely eating that. The black pudding is nice, and um, very nice of them to swap the items, the fact I don't eat egg, which I was very pleased with, because some cafes I have been to before didn't swap the egg. The jury could be out, as to whether mushrooms could have been with the breakfast. I have had them before with mushrooms. But I'll let, I'll let you make your own mind up on that. As to regarding the size. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> right. Um, sorry about that. Um, the toast is nicely cooked. How I like my toast. So, again... Some people will argue and say, do you get the option of toast or bread and butter? They just said toast. Maybe that would be something they could perhaps. That's just me pointing to it. It's not a criticism in any way. That's just some cafes I've been to offer bread and butter or toast. Like I say, that is just my personal opinion. But you do get the option of tea or coffee. And I have had, since the, everything's gone up, not many cafes still do tea or coffee with it. And you get a decent sized cup as well, to be honest. So, I can't really grumble at this. So, what am I going to give Penny's Cafe? Um... To be honest, I can't really fault it, to be fair. Because when I swapped the items, I could have, because it already came with black pudding, I could have said to them, give me mushrooms. So I could have put mushrooms on myself, couldn't I? In all theory, that could be, that could be um, something I could have actually asked for in replacement because I'd already got black pudding already. So I could put that down to me. Um, and I can't really knock it. For, can I knock it for saying... You, they give you a toast and they don't off, offer your bread and butter. Can I knock it for that? I'm not so sure whether I can. But maybe it's an option they could look at. 
Ähm Do you know what? I'm going to give him four scores, viewers, because I can't fault that, really. That's... I'm going to give him a four, four, four scores, because it is very nice, and I will be eating it all. For taste, taste, cost, and how clean it is, it's parking, they accept your card, you get tea or coffee with it. Based on that, I'm going to give it a ten, I think. Yeah, I think so. Because I'm going to, I'm going to look at that one as... You get toast, but I guess you could say, can I have bread or butter instead of toast? So, yeah, I'm going to give it 10 out of 10. Thank you very much for watching Takeaway Tuesday as always. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Thanks to everybody who subscribed to the channel of late. I really do appreciate it. And thanks to all the lovely comments. I'll see you on the next one. And it's bye for now.